to see your phone. Your mother left this. I better do my water. Fuck it. <laughs> beautiful youtube friends welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new if you are new welcome to my team don't know why you're here but i'm glad you're here so make sure you subscribe and stay a while if you're not new here thanks for coming back i actually remember to film my intro i actually did this whole look doing uh, movies and makeup where i review movies if you're you don't know what that is i review movies and i do my makeup usually try to do like a look as inspired by the movie i'm reviewing and you probably can't see my eyes which is the the theme, there are spirals on my eyes because I'm reviewing Spiral from the Book of Saw, which just came out recently. Y'all know I love horror movies. When I first started this movie as a makeup thing, I said I wanted to do it to review horror movies because I love horror movie YouTubers like Possessed by Horror, CZ's World, Found Flicks, etc. I love watching their videos and I just love watching horror movies. But good horror movies haven't come out since I've started this series. So finally, they're getting the horror movies popping and they've released Spiral, The Conjuring, A Quiet Place 2. So first up on my list is Spiral. So I'm excited to review it. I kind of ramble and just go on and on trying to explain the the movie without spoiling it. Because I know people watch my videos and don't want to be spoiled. So I try not to spoil it. I did spoil the end at the end of my video. But I'll let you know beforehand that it was going to be a spoiler. But I try to keep it very like general throughout the whole video. So I didn't spoil anything but it kind of explained like what was going on in the movie. So I'm not gonna make my intro too long. I hope you guys enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your post notifications on. Let me know what you all wanna see. And thank you all so much for watching what you're about to watch. <laughs> and let's get into the video. All right, let's go. So today, as I should have mentioned in the beginning my intro i'm doing a makeup in movies movies and makeup i don't know exactly what i call this but i'm doing a makeup review i mean i'm doing a movie review and it's on the movie spiral as y'all know from when i first started the makeup of movies i always said that i love horror movies and i really want to review horror movies more than anything but the horror movies haven't been hitting like they haven't had any good ones come out when i first started but now they've had a couple so now i'm getting to review Ugh. now i get to review my first horror movie and i'm gonna use that loosely because i'll get into why i don't think spiral is really a horror movie i don't know if the whole soft french has to be considered a horror movie but nevertheless i'm going to review spiral from the book of Saul. so i'm going to try not to do any spoilers i might i don't know we're gonna see so i have an idea what i want to do i don't know if it's gonna come out right because it's really taking the leap but I'm gonna start from my LA girl pro conceal and toast all over my eyes I use it for my brows but I'm gonna do it all over ooh, all over my eyes to give me a smooth even colored base so spiral from the book of saw is the latest addition to the saw franchise it's the eighth movie there was saw one through six saw 3d was seven and then they had jigsaw so it's the ninth saw movie Hmm, that's interesting. But yeah, they're going in kind of like a new direction. Chris Rock is the main character. Samuel L. Jackson's in it. And it's basically like many years after, you know, the events of Saw. And if y'all get spoiler alert, if you've never seen the Saw franchise, which you should have, because where have you been if you haven't? The original Jigsaw's dead. We have a copycat on our hands. And they're sending like messages to Chris Rock, who is a police officer. And he has to figure out like who's doing this before more police officers end up dead because they're basically killing law enforcement. So I want to say, let's start with talking about Chris Rock's character. Seeing Chris Rock in a serious role is so different. I don't know if he's been in many more serious roles. Like even him in New Jack City is comical. Which I haven't seen New Jack City in years, so I'm gonna have to rewatch that. But his voice and just his mannerism, it just it just screams comedy because I know him as a comedian. But I think he did a pretty good job taking away the seriousness of Saul which was I think was a good balance basically so he's a police officer a detective detective Zeke Banks and he is living in his father's shadow because his father was the police chief his father Samuel Jackson his father was the police chief you know good cop well his father was a good cop in the in the mind of cops because Chris Rock is trying to detective Banks let's call him by his name 
Sexy Banks is like trying to redeem himself, if you will, because he snitched on one of his on his former partner who will that be a spoiler? Spoiler alert, I guess. He did some fuck shit basically. And Chris Rock being the actual good cop he is, you know, reporting him and got him fired and I'm gonna think of the jail and all of that, so I'm gonna set it with my soft focus black radiance powder. The movie starts off when the cops get killed or whatever in a jigsaw fashion, in a trap. It's the tongue trap. And if y'all want me to talk about the traps, I guess I can. I'll talk a little about the traps. It's a tongue trap. No, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to mention all the traps and I'll mention which one I like the best and then which one I think I could have escaped. <laughs> but okay, so his, the new chief, which is um from Riverdale Hermione I think her name is Hermione Loft Veronica's mom she's a new police chief and she partners him with a rookie to get him like you know on the case and he doesn't like it because he used to work by himself because everybody has like alienated him because of him snitching so he's used to like being on his own but she matched him with this rookie so they can figure out the case. I think I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. Um, I'm trying the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I think I've used tried it once before. They get partners together to figure out like who is the new Jigsaw because they're basically sending like direct messages to Zeke, basically telling him like, find out who I am or more cops are gonna end up dead. Zeke has a very cynical attitude. Like I said, he really didn't want a partner. He likes to work by himself, but Chief's requiring him to have his partner to figure this case out. So nobody likes that Zeke's the head of this. So everybody's kind of like going off on their own thing. Like one of the cops who really hates him and he's the reason. So at some point Zeke had got like injured on the job and he was calling for backup and the guy like purposely ignored him. This guy is really like going on his own throughout this whole like investigation. And he ends up getting trapped by Jigsaw. So he ends up getting trapped by Jigsaw and he gets put in like a finger strap. So that was the next death. So throughout this, Zeke is like trying to reconnect with his father. They kind of have a strained relationship, I'm guessing, from like Zeke snitching and not looking good. So they're trying to like rekindle their relationship. And so the first trap, the tongue trap, took place in the train station. And I noticed there were a lot of trains in his father's apartment, which is kind of like set off a little ding ding ding. And then the next place was like an old like store that sold like train set parts. And that's where they find like the rookie's body like skinned and like he's the next person that got killed. But if you know like horror movie tropes, when you don't see someone die, are they really dead? That's a question you should ask yourself. Oh, and miss all this, his father's missing. So he can't answer he can't get his father. Um the trains that him and his father were obsessed with. There, somebody hacked into the police system. Well, that's for the next death. So the police chief ends up getting victimized next and she ends up having like a hot wax trap. So like everybody's like eyes pointed to Zeke's dad. So Zeke is like trying to like solve this to figure out who it could be. He thinks his ex rookie, but everybody thinks his dad. So he goes to like find his ex, his ex rookie, his ex partner. He goes to find his ex partner. He gets caught up. Let me do my makeup while I'm... I'm about to try this Milani Concealing Perfect Foundation slash Concealer. I don't know if it's my color. This might end up being like a horrible look. We're about to see. But I'm starting to like telling you how the movie that I'm not even like doing my makeup, which is what the point of this is. in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Concealer. So before I even get to the end of the movie, let's talk about like themes of the movie. Let's do that. Because I feel like I'm just kind of like telling the movie and I really try my hardest not to do any spoilers. But it's hard when you like excited to talk about a movie. One thing I noticed about this movie is it's very, very modernized and I don't know how I feel about that. Like not saying the old Saw movies were like not modernized it definitely was like not in like it was in like modern times at the time but there was like talking about fitbits and checking hashtags and emojis and texting and that was just like i don't know it threw me off so i kind of wonder like where are horror movies going nowadays because horror movie 
back to tropes, not having cell service or not being able to call someone or not knowing somebody's location, it's slowly become like a, a thing of the past. So it's kind of like how a horror, horror movie is going to play on that in the future. Because, you know, horror movie tropes, like it's common for these things to happen in horror movies. So I thought that was interesting. I also saw in the movie a lot of like nods to other movies. I won't say a lot, but I kind of wonder when they went, when they found the one with the finger trap, when they found out he got killed, it sent him like to this like junkyard. And I'm trying to remember if that was the junkyard they were in in Jigsaw at the very beginning. Because the vibe, like the, the look, the aesthetic of it looked very reminiscent of that. So I'm like, I wonder if that's like a nod to Jigsaw, I like guess that location. And then there was also a little Easter egg. Chris Rock said something about New Jack City. And like I said, he was in New Jack City. So I thought it was funny that he made that comment. Oh, and when he got caught in the final trap, he was like chained to a like a pipe. And there was a hacksaw like right next to him. And it had you think like, oh my gosh, he about to have to cut off. I think it was his arm pretty much. So I cut off his hand to get free like saw is known for which is where the, the name of the movie basically comes from so basically in the end i'm gonna put spoiler alert right here because i'm basically about to tell the end so the whole movie was really them trying to figure out the case and detective banks like getting back into being a team player and re remember why he became a cop in the first place being a good cop which is his final test in the end because the person who ended up being was drum roll please <laughs> i probably lucky gave it away when i said that we don't see somebody dying in the movie they're already really dead especially when like all the traps that's one thing i didn't like like it basically told who it was because when you're showing the traps and you're showing all these people dying the one person you don't show dying uh, dust gonna Intent's gonna rise. Oh, he's the killer. He's the one doing it, clearly. So he ended up being the rookie. His name was Detective Shank, I think. I'm going in with the Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. So Shank ended up being, reminder, spoiler alert. I'm gonna place like a, a timestamp saying it's the spoiler area. So reminder, Detective Banks has been able to rat because he snitched on his former partner. So what his former partner did is he killed an innocent man because the innocent man was going to basically go on the stand at a, at a court hearing against another cop. So he killed him and said, oh, he put a gun out on me, which didn't make sense. He's like, You're, he's a witness. Why would a witness put a gun out on you? So he basically knew something was wrong. And Detective Shank ended up being the man's son who was like in the room when it happened. Comment down below if you know that reference. <laughs> so ever since that happened his goal in life was to grow up, become a cop, and exact revenge on the whole corrupt police system for this city, the Saw City. You know it's not like a real city. And he always had like a kind of loyalty to Chris Rock's character because he's the one who like reported the cop and got his dad like his revenge or has that his justice. It's for things get shaky, so I'm about to try something new. Live or die. Yeah. I'm trying to draw like a spiral on my eyelid. It's not coming out horrible, it's just not coming out like perfect. <laughs> so I'm gonna look crazy while this dry. So basically, Detective Banks' last test is who is he really a good cop? Who is he loyal to? Is he really down to like bring down all the corrupt cops? So Detective Shank made it seem like it was his dad. Cause remember I said like everything, all the like subtle clues kind of led to Detective Banks' father. We're, we're just gonna call him Chief Banks. So he had Chief Manx like held hostage and he was like, you can either save him, get him out the trap and save him or let him die and pay for what he did. Because basically under his rule, like as the chief, he had like different regulations that made it where corrupt cops kind of got away with the things they were doing. I like the spy, but I kind of want to try it on this side. No, I'm not going to try it on this side. Yeah, I am. I lied. I am. This really looks crazy, but it's not in the eyes. Like, well, no, the eyes is like the, the standout, but face. 
the category is face today so reminder detective banks like was trying to like build his relationship back up with his father so even though his father basically is the reason why all these corrupt cops are to be he still that's his dad like he's like i can't really just leave my dad here to die but detective shank was like you can come with me we can team up and take down all these bad cops and of course that's kind of like I can't think of the word. I'll probably include it here if I think of it after my go on editing. But it's like doesn't make sense because like you the way to fix bad cops is you want to kill other cops. Like he's kinda like, what kind of cop would I be if I'm helping you kill other cops? Like bad or not. So he's very like conflicted. But he ends up reminder, spoiler, he ends up saving his dad and then going to try to fight Detective Shrink. In the midst, you have to see the movie to see like how everything played out. In the midst, the cops come or SWAT comes and they break in and he has like a separate trap that like sets Chief Banks up to seem like he has a gun and he's going to shoot the SWAT and they shoot him down and kill him anyway. And then Texas Shank gets away. So it's kind of like, you should know, like y'all know Jigsaw, you're a cop, you know the story of Jigsaw, you know that not everything is as it seems and you can't outsmart Jigsaw. Like, this isn't a real Jigsaw, but can't outsmart him. So, I kind of just rambled the movie. Hopefully this part was short. But basically, it's a good movie. I'm going to, I think after this, I'm going to record like me taking my makeup off and ranking all of the Saw movies, including Spiral. I think it was good. I like, like I said, I'm conflicted on the modernization of it, but I did like how it moves like hip-hop because Saw is used to being like, metal music rock music and this was very like this like the black version of saw like it had hip-hop music and i really enjoyed that aspect of it like i thought it was a nice twist to the saw series i love the homages to you know other saw movies his chris rocks mentioned in new deck city of course samuel jackson had to hit emma f for a couple times like like he do it was a good movie altogether i think everybody should see it and i, tr I try not to spoil too much except i spoiled the end but i let y'all know i think everybody should go see it it's you know a nice breath of fresh air if you think you're getting tired of saw series this is like a nice twist to it so basically all the traps and what i think about them um this is probably low-key my least favorite of the saw traps though just like just off the top of my head thinking about it let me go ahead and wipe off my but the trap i think i could survive okay so it was the tongue trap the finger point trap the rookie being skin which i wouldn't consider a trap because it was fake um the hot wax and then the final trap oh there was another trap with his uh former partner where he it was like a glass trap is what i call it so now that i actually remember that trap the trap I think I could survive. So I was going to say the glass trap because it was an easy like solution to getting to getting out. But you're relying on somebody else. So if the person I'm in the room with is like smart and can think quick. The glass trap probably was the least like brutal trap. I mean it's a brutal way to die. That's probably the one that would probably be easier to survive. Because other ones like required like you were by yourself but required you to like impair yourself in some way like i just use an example the hot wax trap she had to, like sever her spinal cord to get out the tongue trap i could i don't i don't think anybody can even survive the tongue trap in general even if you did what you're supposed to do that just seems so painful but nevertheless going in with my usual the milani uh highlight that i always use the way that the movie ended so I'm gonna talk about like the future of Saw. The way that the movie ended, it kind of makes it seem like there's going to be a sequel to Spiral, which would make sense because Detective Banks isn't dead and he knows that Shink is the one that's doing this. So it's like, how's he gonna let him just get away? So it seems like it's gonna be another movie. And there's also talks about like a Saw 10. I don't know how I feel about that one. Like Spiral, I was already kind of skeptical about it because I'm like. Why y'all trying to let Fetch happen? Like, why don't y'all just let Saul die? Like, it's over. This is the franchise is over. But Spiral was like a, like I said, a breath of fresh air, like a new take on the story, which I did enjoy. So, but Saul 10 continue the actual Saul like timeline, cause technically, Spiral is like not really in the Saul timeline. It's like it's the book of Saul, like it's in the Saul universe, but it's not really like a continuation. I'm going to see Saw 10 because I love horror movies, but I think it's about time that they let the, the series die. Hopefully it ends at 10. 
Holy 10th lucky number. I'm gonna keep it dewy. I'm gonna use my NYX dewy finish. I don't know what it's gonna do. I was gonna put my lashes on. So, of course, you know me. Got my Iconics Cosmetics lashes. This is the style Robin. A fan fave. And I also have my Iconics Cosmetics. Let me back up. Lash glue. This is in Black Onyx. It is a black brush on glue. Yellow. I love me a good brush on glue. Have to get that together. So, I'm gonna put my lashes on. And then lips and then come back with final thoughts if i haven't already said them i'm gonna do something to this head of mine and we're gonna we're gonna make it twerk face done got this little janky little point in just for the time being it oops a little hip-hop face done got this janky little point till in it is like 10 p.m so i'm kind of like looking at, probably kind of crazy whatever now he's trying to make up but the spirals on the eyes was like the point but final thoughts good movie everybody should see it i like the new direction that they took with saw played with a lot of horror movie tropes kind of made it obvious like what the twist on the end was going to be but you know if you didn't watch this video and if you're not very privy to horror movie tropes you're not even gonna know who it is to the very end you're gonna enjoy the twist but you know still was a good watch like i said made like a more of a hip-hop twist to it which i definitely enjoy so yeah i would rate it seven out of ten i don't do too much not too little i do think there's some deeper meanings i think it was really playing on the whole police brutality black lives matter blue lives matter thing not even saying that it was like you know they killed any black people in the movie the guy William Shank is actually seemingly Hispanic, but they really play deep on like corrupt cops and how someone takes it upon themselves in their own hands to like end the corruption that's in the police system. And it talks about how like police getting away with the things they do is like embedded in police policy. So it's kind of hard to like bring down the corrupt cops. So with the whole Derek Chauvin case, him actually getting convicted is like kind of a step in the right direction especially being like the whole police station like the, their police chief was on the prosecution side so it was like they're slowly dismantling this corrupt police hierarchy and ruling and policies that make corrupt cops even be a thing which i hope we're taking big steps into that direction and i appreciate that movie for kind of touching on that maybe i'm looking too deep in it but saw is known for like touching on policies governmental issues in saw five they tackle like health insurance and like the scam that health insurance is and how you know health insurance company makes millions but then have like glow clause in their policy that makes somebody who actually needs assistance not get it but i'll probably get into that when i do my ranking the saw movies so yeah that is that did a little quick makeup wanted to get that over with reviewing the saw book of spiral from the book of saw hope you guys enjoyed it um makeup was really quick like i said it's 10 o'clock at night i just got off work and just put this together gotta go get my child who's <laughs> sleeping i plan on reviewing the conjuring three the devil made me do it into in the heights I was going to try to review A Quiet Place, haven't fully seen it yet, and I just don't even know if I'm interested in really reviewing that, even though I love scary movies. And of course I'm going to review Zola when it comes out later on this month, I can't wait for that one, I'm so, I loved that Twitter thread when it was a thing. But yeah, that's that, I'm trying to make my, my movies and makeup videos too long, so I'm going to wrap it up. Thank y'all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video and until then stay beautiful.